Hi, my name is Jackson. I live in California. I started skateboarding about two months ago and I need help with my ollies. I've landed a couple shove -its, so I have experience, you know, doing things on my board. Where I live, there's not much area to ride around. I'm about 40 minutes from St. Helena Skate Park and I'm about 30 minutes from Kelseyville Skate Park. I don't have my license. I'm only 13, so I can't really go places. But yeah, I just need help with my ollies. I've landed a couple. I don't know, I just can't seem to get, like, get it off the ground. Like, I get a good ollie, and then I, it's like two inches, and then I get a bad ollie the next time I try. I don't know if you guys do, like, in-person practicing courses or whatever. I don't know how much they cost, but just let me know in the video if you, if you do make a video on how to do this, because, I don't know, I would like to learn. I'm, like, really excited to learn how to skateboard. I just, I keep letting myself down, and I think that I can't do it, so. But let me know what you guys think of this ollie. Thanks so much for sending in your video. This is awesome. Okay, so we do do in-person lessons. We have skate camps. Um, you can send me messages anytime on the Braille Army Plus membership. I'm trying to make as many possible ways that we can teach skateboarding because this is the mission of Braille skateboarding to get more people skating all over the world, just so you know. Okay, so your Ollie looks great. Uh, after hearing you talk, I thought, Okay, he probably is not getting his wheels off the ground. Then I see this ollie, and I'm like, what the? You're moving? You're alling over something? What do you mean? Your ollie's good. Okay, so, so of course you can get more height, and you can continue practicing, and you can work out leveling your board out better in the air. Sure, you can get, on, get all those things, but one thing that you got to really understand as a beginner is like, you're trying to do an ollie, which means all four wheels get off the ground. The second all four of those wheels get off the ground, you should be so excited, so stoked. And I'm not saying that you're not. I'm sure that you are. But uh, yeah, you're doing awesome. You got to give yourself some credit, you know? Give credit where credit is due. So if, honestly, if I were you, what I would be doing is every day I would go out to skateboard. I would do, let's say, ride around for 10 minutes and then do 10 ollies. 10 ollies that you felt like, okay, that was a pretty good ollie. I'm feeling pretty good on that. And then just move on to the next trick. The next trick in the Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1 series is the front side 180. So you're, you're going to turn your head and shoulders and then pop that ollie and then move your, your legs. So there's lots of tutorials on the front side 180. We got you in Skateboarding Made Simple. Yes, we do have in-person lessons um, you would have to be able to make it down to the Braille house in order to do that. Um, we also do many online lessons and various things like that. You can even do a virtual lesson. All of that is available at BrailleSkateboarding.com. So check it out. I'm currently working on more, better, easier ways to teach more people how to ride a skateboard. But I'm super stoked that you are having a blast learning how to ollie. And I just want to give credit where credit is due your ollie is really good. So get super excited and move on to the next trick. You can log into the Braille Skateboarding app and mark off the ollie and start working on that front side 180. You got it. For anyone out there learning how to skateboard, we got every single thing you need to learn and more at BrailleSkateboarding.com. Get out there and have a blast. I'll see you there.